Hey everyone, Vilton here. I'm going to do a uh, opening and build of a rep box 2 from Repcord. That's repcord.com, R E P uh, K O R D.com. You can buy one of these. So this holds multiple filaments in a box that you can mount on your wall so that you can uh, get in and, uh, you know, basically store your filaments and print from it. So it's got a place for the filaments to go. Let me get this open here. It's pretty well sealed up here. Hopefully I can get this on tape here somehow. I'm gonna go along the bottom edge here. Put a lot of tape on it. But that makes sense, you gotta ship it, you wanna make sure it gets there in one piece. Alright, got the box open. I have this actually sitting in my office or recording studio, or whatever I call this area here, for a while. So these are all the parts to help with the assembly. Obviously the 3D printed parts. A uh, little mini, so the rep box looks like this. Uh, the rep box will look like this, similar to this, when it's completed. They'll hold all the filament and they'll have little holes on the bottom for your filament to come out and go to your printer. It's great for when you have MMU, like, uh, uh, what do you call it, a, uh, oh, like MMU1 or MMU2 for the Rusa or a, uh, the other company. I forgot the other company. Always forget. Mosaic Manufacturing's uh, Pallet. And Pallet Pro. Okay. Get all the. This is actually the frame and everything in here. If I can get it out of here. It's, all, it's got tape on it too. The tape to the box inside. That's why it's not coming out. Alright, box is empty now. Um, oh, something else is in there, I heard it. I thought it was just a piece of cardboard in there. It's probably the plastic piece with the front of the uh, oh, screws. The screws to put it together. It should be another plastic piece to sort of go in the front of that lifesaver rep box. But it's not. I heard it bounce, damn it. You know, I'm not finding it, but I heard it fell over this idea. Got it. Close this box back up and get it out of the way. Alright, now we got it. Alright, so these are all the screws. I don't know what all the plastic pieces are for, but they're there. Um, I'm not sure what all this is for. I think it's for if you want a desktop, set it on your desktop instead of mounting it on the wall. Um, these are the bearings. These go in for actually the, for the spools to be able to spin on when you make the holders, for the, when you assemble the holders for the, uh, the spools. And different little plugs or grommets for something. Don't know? Here's the little cover that goes in the front of the little uh, rep box candy. It has life, life savers in this rep box holder is what it's got. And you get a little lid that goes on the front of it. So it works just like a rep box would. It's a little mini rep box. I already had one. I forgot where I got it from, but I already have one. But yeah. Get rid of all the packing material here. I'm really not going to go through all the details of what's in the box. Suffice it to say, it's the box. Uh, this is a little flap to go around, around one of the front edges of the printer. I mean, of the box, sorry. <laughs> uh, So, uh, 
now these are all the parts, the actual parts that assemble the box. Top of here. Crash out of the way. The hinge. This is the door, the hinge mounts to that door. Uh, so like on the little mini one, there's a piece of plastic that goes in the front like that. It's in the wrong position, but it's there. Oh, darn it. So it works just like that. On this one, it has a hinge on that plastic piece. And then there's a lock that actually goes in here that locks it. So you can lock your filament up. Uh, so you can have a couple of side pieces. These are plain side pieces. I thought I actually requested a certain one, but I guess not. It's been so long since I ordered this and received it that uh, I can't call it. Again. This is the front panel. It's got the red box too emblazoned on the front of it. These are all the parts for assembling the spool holders. This is where all of the uh, feed through is going to go through for all your filament. That's what those one grommets were for. I to figure out what they were for. So this can go off to the side, so that will be a laser. So these are all laser cut on on a type of similar wood, like a wood similar type of stuff. Maybe I'm wrong about that, what those were for. Anyway, got multiples of those, so I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about it. There's no assembly instructions, by the way. So it is all out here and get them ready to go. A couple more spool holders. All right. This looks like it's going to be the back. This looks like the top. This may be a bottom. This is the front. And two sides. Now I know how some of it goes I've built one before. Not a rip box too, but original an original rip box. But now some of it's gonna go. And one, you notice it's just the plain wood on the one side, it's black on the other side. Uh, since this is, I think, the back, or the bottom, rather, I believe this is the bottom, that that's going to go, you know, like so. Now, maybe the other way around with the holes in the front. Like that, if I can get the other. No, I can't get the other. I had it pop right in my pocket when I, had, when I did it backwards. And now I go to put it forward and it doesn't want to go in. There. So that's going to go like that. And the other side is going to go on the other side. Like so. I guess I should go on their website and look up the uh, assembly of this. I mean, I have the, the idea of how it's supposed to go because I, like I said, built one before. Um, but how all the hardware is going to go, so there's, there's only a few places that actually have screws on this. And what I am noticing it's missing is the wall mount. There is no wall mount this time. Last time there was a piece of wood that held on the back that was used to mount this to the wall. You just drop, set it on the wall. Not a piece of wood on the wall, and then you can hang the, the printer on it. I mean, the, the rep box on it. And I don't see that this time. So that's something that's different. So let's go to, let's go to Rep Box's website, Ripcord's website. And I'll shut down uh, one of my windows here so that we can see the website. Com. Really? Oh, I didn't put a dot in there. Uh, 
Okay, so these are your rep cord boxes. This is what it looks like when it's finished and assembled. Ah, uh, not a lock anymore. It's just a big handle. That's what that big pink handle was in there. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was supposed to have a side that I that I selected and I didn't get that, but oh well. Uh, let's see. Rep box. Let's see, trying to find this here. Uh, so you're not going to have the assembly instructions? So that's $140. Oh, that's weird. Back there it said $139, now it says $149. Official build guide in process. <laughs> so let's go to the pre build preparation. Let's see what it says on the pre build. So basically, it's like an exploded view of it. These are the, like I said, the fillet holders. There's the 3D printed parts. If you can figure it out here. Yeah, you know a lot of this stuff already. That's the same way you assemble many things. So let's see, let's just go through the different steps here that they've already gotten the pre-build to get us started here. Um, we should have all our parts, which we do. We have our two sides. We have the tops, the bottoms, and all that stuff. I already went through all the details on that. The front. Other stuff like that. The bags of parts. The hinge. All of the holders and the flex front plates. Let's see, there should be, looks like there's, can't tell from the picture, it's so small. There, click it bigger, make it bigger. So, some of the things I'm maybe not seeing here. I see the handle. Here, let me hide the other camera so you can see everything here. So I have the handle here, which is this piece right here. I have that, and I have all these little uh, angle brackets, uh, the, these little angle brackets here, and I have that part. I have all the bearings, which I don't know which one shows, I guess that's this one that has the bearings in it. I don't have any of this stuff. But this is a 2.1 and not a 2.0, so that's a, a difference too. Okay, one, two, two, three, one, two, three, four, 
five bags, one, two, three, four, five bags, the plastic parts bag, uh, the hinge, I don't see the plastic, uh, the plastic flange part of this. We have these two pieces here, which is right here, this uh, 19 or H or whatever it is. I have that. I, mean, I don't know what all these things are. Oh, this is in case you bought one that has the, uh, to keep it dry. So these are things to absorb the moisture, I believe. That's what that's for. Uh, so like print dryer type thing. Okay, so let's go through the, let's get out of that. And then look for a, uh, so this is just putting together like a bracket or something. Let's, let's see what the video shows, maybe, no? Can I show a video? It's not a video? Oh, you're telling me that, they, that it's, the majority of it is broken up into little videos. That's all he's telling you. Tools you'll need. I have plenty of tools. I'm not worried about the tools. Uh, remove protective film from your acrylic. Yeah, we know that. Um, putting your little things into your angle brackets. Those little angle brackets are in this bag of parts. Let me, let me open up now. I can. I can drag this over. I can shrink this, narrow this web page down. And I'll turn on my other, one of my cameras. So, uh, of course, it has to be that camera, right? Okay, let's turn off that camera. Let's turn on the other camera, the overhead, so you can see what's going on. Uh, my camera got turned somehow. It's no longer facing straight anymore. Oh, come on. Somehow my fan got turned on. And it's tr twisting my camera. I got my cord running with my camera. Okay, that's a little better. Let's zoom in a little bit on my bench top. I don't need to uh, show you my sexy bare legs here. that camera and it will configure my video and I'm going to go to camera and I'm going to go to zoom and I'm going to zoom in. Hold that back just a little bit. Okay so now you can kind of see what I'm doing here. The best I can get. The cord's hanging in my way of course. Turn that away. Alright, so I have these plastic parts here, which has all these little angle brackets. Let me get back where I can see my video. Alright, so I got these little, all these parts. I got the little parts bracket here. Uh, this is that little piece H I was talking about before. This is the front handle to turn the, the print, turn the, open and close the, the box. You need little angle brackets. And then there should be a lot of little nuts, little square nuts in this bag. It better be square. Yep, there are. There's both square and hex. It gets open. I hate when they... They should have one side longer on the bag and shorter on the other side to make it easier for you to grab a hold of the uh, horse. You need to grab both the parts of the bag and open it up. So the square nuts what we're going to use on these little angle brackets. Uh, let me move that. Move this over. <coughs> right here. So that's what we're gonna, that's what we're going to do right now, just for grins while we're waiting. We have a needle nose here. And we'll put that into the slots. 
So there's actually two places for it to go. There's one here and one here. Now, which way does it go on the second one? I don't know. <coughs> but this one here is one that's shown in the picture. And it goes in here. Excuse me. <coughs> Damn. Don't really need needle nose to do this. <coughs> Excuse me again. Damn it. Wrong one. Uh. Okay, I put that in the wrong hole. I think I did anyway. I'll probably have to put it in there later, but right now it's not where it wants to go. Of course, went on the floor somewhere, and I can't see a damn thing on this floor. I'll find it later. I'm not worried about right now. Okay, I got the one correct. Make sure everything's lined up correctly. So this is the way it goes. This one goes in. I want to say that this is the way it goes. Um, you can see on the picture the, the flat edge. Um, this flat edge goes down on the bottom. And then the holes on the bottom here. And you slide the nut into this side. And we'll just be repeating that uh, multiple times here. I'm sure that nut goes on the other side like I had be before. Because I'm sure that, you know, you gotta mount the, the bracket in the bottom of the rep box and the sides of the rep box or whatever for assembling it. And so those screws are gonna go through, you gotta go in two sides. You can't just go in one. So it's gonna be it's gonna have two nuts in it. One more. Get all these nuts in. Using the square nuts, not the hex nuts for this. Sometimes grabbing them. I can't grab them sometimes. Sometimes, if you're liking that, no. Uh, sometimes you don't. I'm enjoying cutting nuts, and now I'm still. That's an old jingle from the. I'm enjoying Mounds Bars commercials. This is a 3D printed part. And you see, it doesn't want to go into that one. All the other ones went in really easily. This one doesn't want to go in. Uh. 
Ah, oh, still don't want to win. Jesus. Pull it back out. I don't see any reason why, it just doesn't want to go in. Depends on another nut, maybe it's a, a little bit thicker for some reason. Oh, same problem. Just doesn't want to go in there. Ah. Oh man, that ain't just not wanting to go in. So it won't line up with the hole because it's not going in all the way. Oh god. We'll figure that out. We have to take something and actually hammer it in there. Which sucks. I hate having to hammer something into something. Just when it's plastic, it break they break so easily then. But I can always print a new part if I need to also. These are just 3D printed parts. It's irritating when parts don't quite fit. Get the tape off of that. Close my knife up. Put it off the side. Okay. So you'll hear in this video clip, it says, uh, oh, so it does go on both ends, just like I was doing. Oh, it goes in three places. There's three places for it. Look, like it's different on the bottom. Look at the same ones as the other ones were. It's a different color. Same bottom quarter brackets. But it only gets two of the nuts in it, not the third nut for some reason. Okay. That's a nice video right there, it's just nothing. Nice blank video. Yeah, good video. I already saw that it's basically the same thing again as the other one was. And repeat, repeat, repeat. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Repeat, repeat, repeat. I don't know why you have to show it different times and say, use this one for this one and this one. Okay. So that's that video, that set of information. Go back. Huh? Back. And we'll begin main assembly. So here's the main assembly. Maybe. That's the base panel, which is which panel? The same base panel. But I don't see any holes in the base. I see a hole holes in that part. Not holes in another part. That doesn't make much sense of it. How can you call it the base? I'm gonna put the it flex out of the way because that's like one of the last things we do is put the put the last front panel on. So this is what this is it. right this is the only one that has holes in it. Yeah. So this is the only one that has holes in it. Which I consider to be the top. 
Not the base. That's me. Oh, grab one top panel. Size so base panel part four. And start by filling all the exit holes with plugs. We're going to fill all the exit holes with plugs. Let's go uh, just for a minute. Go back to here for a minute. We should have, come on. This, you know, you know he, he labeled all these things one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, and all that stuff, but nothing. I'll see the bomb. Okay, so there's a bomb somewhere on here. Do, 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 do. You see a bomb? I don't see the bomb. Oh, maybe back one. No, 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 no. I don't see any bomb on here. Yeah, this is like the corresponding guide. We didn't have a, a 2.0 guide. Let's go back just to make sure. Let's go back again one more. Ah, oh, come on. You're not going to take me to where I want to go? Can you take me back to here? Right? Uh, 2.1. Point one. Two point one. Wonderful. Here we go. 2.0. This is what I have. I have 2.0. Bill of materials and packing lists. Let me go back. And then we're going to go to opening another link. Open a new tab. So we have got it on a separate page. Build video. So, it actually isn't giving you instructions any, on that one. It didn't give you an assembly guide. Just build videos. That's nice. Time that step late. Okay. We'll use the printing nerds video as a way to go by. That's nice. What could you do with a metal 3D printer? printer? Introducing, Introducing the Metal X, the easiest way for you to go from design to real metal, metal part. Although they went to a Tools and printer, fixtures, like prototypes, and end use parts can all be printed safer and more affordable. Yes, 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 yes we do. do. And this Boom. is Pooch from Ripcord. Go ahead and start it. Live. Are we live? Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, we'll we'll have to chat. Good, Good idea. idea. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my whole desktop got. Uh, let's, let's see. see. I will. I will start. Yes. yes. I will start. 
Oh, oh no. Better, better, better turn, turn that down. No, I'm on it. Who's, 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 who's computer's on it? Who's computer's on it? Who's computer's on it? It's like a computer on like a novice. Like a noob. Hit the kitchen. There we go. Just go to the... Yes. Go to the browser window. Which of the 17 tabs here should I go? Stop oh. it. Just stop it. Oh, oh you should just pause it? No, I just muted it. Oh. Yeah, it's really this way you can watch your stuff out here. Well, come on back in here, Pooch. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, it's Joel. You know me as the proprietor of 3D Printing Nerd. And next to me, I've got Pooch. Pooch is the proprietor of Repcord, and he and Travis have a Pyro Design, a Pyro Design have the Repbox. This is now what we're showing off the Repbox 2. It's the next evolution of the Repbox design. It has some cool things associated with it that aren't necessarily a part of the original Repbox design. We're going to put two of them together one for me. Yeah, yeah, one for Mitch, Mitch from Mosaic. Mosaic. Yeah. yeah, Mitch, Mitch is, is a great guy. You ordered one. And yeah. It was a good opportunity for you to build it, and then if it gets screwed up, we don't want to play. Mitch's is different, though, right? Because, well, I mean, technically, <laughs> technically, 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 you can use mine. <laughs> yeah. And I sit and watch the whole video. The humidity in here currently, does that seem right to you? Anything for a laugh, eh? 40%, that's about right. That sounds right? Yeah, it gets humid up here. It does? Okay. This so that means this sweat that in my brow would be a good indicator that that Oh, if you guys caught the live stream of when Sean was assembling the CR-10S Pro, it was fantastic. Was that a you could tell him? he was working as hard as he could because he was... Yeah, I'd rather go with the uh, written instructions for the 2-1, which is very similar. There's not going to be much difference in the design, so I'm going to go with that because it just makes no sense to do listen to these guys ramble and play around and, and, and stuff. So I'd rather uh, just follow the, the assembly instructions. It's going to be very similar. There's not going to be much difference between them. So let's, let's move along with that. This is what we plan on doing originally. Okay, so we got the base. We're going to put the plugs in. So I need to open up the bag that has the plugs. It should be this bag right here. So we're saying put all the plugs in. Let me get this open. So these are all the plugs. So these are all going to go in. But I'm assuming if you watch his, his little assembly video here, he okay, put the plugs in. Because like I said, you can put these plugs in. They fit really tight. Oh, I'll tell you what I thought they'd be. <sighs> this one didn't quite go in all the way. There, got it. Man, that's a lot easier. A lot less wear and tear on my thumb. My thumbs are not in the best of shape. I've had surgery on my right thumb seven times, and I've had a couple of surgeries on my left thumb. So me pushing on it like that is gonna eventually just make my hand. Put my COVID-19 mask on quick. Here, I'll just show you. I'm joking here. Oh, where is it? Oh, I let throw it over each other. Ah, God. All right. I want that one over here. I want this one over here now. There we go. There you go. My COVID-19 mask. Yay! <laughs> 3D printed mask. Put a filter in there and it's a... Yeah. Okay. Done. 
Oh, wrong one. All right. So you see he's just popping them in. We can stop doing that. We don't need to watch that over and over again. Uh, then we got... I'm not sure what he's got going on here. Flip it over to the unfinished side. I don't have anything like that. Do you see anything? I don't have anything like this part. Nothing like that part at all. So I don't know what that is. That's the difference in the two, I guess. That's uh, odd. But now, it's not even the same as this, see right here. Do you see any holes over here? Any of these rectangular holes? You do on the other side. You flip this one over, like that. You've only got the one. Oh, I know what this is about, okay. So it was the top, right? this was supposed to be the top, this is the bottom. Um, let's see, that's, a, that's the top, I think. I think this is the back. Uh, we can verify that by putting it like so. And it should go like that. Yes, that's the back. So. Nothing like what he shows there. This is like this version 2.1. Um. <coughs> So he's talking about something, but he doesn't, tell you, doesn't really show what, you, what he's talking about. Maybe I can show it here. Maybe I'll show what he's talking about. Get some little washers. Going to go through the middle holes. And then one of the brackets is going to go on. And the same thing on the other side. Right? some little washers that probably if you have the uh, if you have the one that's supposed to be airtight otherwise right so I don't have the airtight one so this is not going to have the little washers so what you're going to do is this is going to go down like so you're going to put a screw in the hole in the very corner and you take one of these brackets. Let me see where he's going, but I think it goes just like this. And I need to put it in all the way. Oh, I make sure I had the right screw either, but I think they're all the same. Oh, they sure are long. A lot longer than I would expect. But that's the way they are. They're all that length, so... Anyway. That's going to go in like so. And we have a little head that came in the kit. We should be able to just screw that right in. Maybe. This is going to take a while, obviously. Okay, just showed you how to do one of them. So that's one. You're going to do it in three places. So it looks like, it need, like they wanted you to use a washer on the middle one here because the hole just, fall, it just falls right through. Um, so I don't have these little washers we're talking about. Otherwise, my, my part's just going to fall right through. I don't, I don't get it. So you'll, if, you'll excuse me if I don't get that. I don't have any washers in here. 
So obviously there's something I'm missing here. Probably there's a lot, a lot more screws in this one than it shows in the one they're doing right now. So let, let me, I'll go ahead and figure this out. I'll uh, go ahead and put the other corner on. And I, yeah, right, that's the inside. That's right with the You don't need to watch me do a whole bunch of these. It's going to take a while. I need to figure out what I'm going to do about that hole. I don't think that's the way it works on the, on the uh, red box 2. It's 2.1. They changed it. They didn't need as many. I think they have two more on here and two more on here. This is what I think is going on with this. I think it's actually four on this. Is what I think. I mean, eight total. <coughs> I, I caught one in all the way. That's right, looking at it. Of course, then the nut falls right out as I'm working on it. I got one where it won't go in, and I got one that just wants to fall right out. <sighs> Completely missed the hole. I need to go and check that, but I think it takes four on a side, so a total of eight is what I think it takes. So that's the difference between uh, the two boxes, I'm thinking. So I don't see the other holes in the other box. It just has three on the 2.1 box. So that's why I'm thinking I will verify that <coughs> and uh, come back. I'm going to take a break while I go figure that out. Okay, so what I found out is that a um, little bit different assembly instructions. Um, there is, I took all those grommets out because they don't go in. Uh, a, little bit, a little bit different here. Um, so this part here that has the holes in it that match just like the holes that are here, right, it's like that, they match up, it'll sort of, maybe not that one, that ain't going to work if, it, if that line, that's the one that goes in the front, okay, it's the other one, there's another one that has hex holes in it, hexagonal holes, like this. Maybe. Uh, yeah, got the slots in it right. So like that. Then I can get a mount on it just like this. Uh, yeah, it has three holes in it. One in the middle, one on the side. So what we're going to do is you need to first use this as a template. Take this piece of plastic that's this that seal or flap that goes on and you're gonna lay this on there so that it just basically goes along the edge um, and it leaves an overhang so we want it nice this is on the short side
make sure I'm getting the right one here. Hold on. I was just looking at it on a, on a video on how to do this. That'd be this one right here. base panel. We're going to grab one of the rear exit panels. It is one of the ones with the hexagonal holes in it here. And we're going to take three of our screws, one, two, three, and put them in there. So this is what you got. Then what we'll do is we'll take parts bag H that has the seal and we will this, open the seal. You know, one of the things you want to stretch it out a couple times like that. So you'll take your seal uh, and the little plastic punches are still in them. So those will need to be punched. And if you went through the beginning um, part of this, it asks you to do that first. We'll take this and we'll put the... So mine's a little short, um, which is irritating. Because it's barely going to reach the holes with it being like that. Now, I'm not sure exactly where or how, but I'm going to put holes through this. Uh, I have a punch I can use to put holes through that. Find it here. Or I can use a uh, small Phillips head to do it, too. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see my punch. So, here's my punch. I have a punch right here. I'll punch in this first hole right here. Get it through there. Stretch it out. Punch in my second hole. Stretch it out. And then punch in my third hole. Now we're going to take and put um, Three, screw, three screws in this panel. We have one, two, three, and we're gonna flip this over, and then we're gonna take where we just punched those holes and we're gonna line, put those through, and put, the, put them over the screws. Like that. And then the third one, maybe, like that. Now this goes over that bottom panel, but it goes on the unfinished side. So that, get the right way, yeah, well, obviously not. Obviously, that doesn't go there. I just can't put that bracket on yet. Oh, that, yeah. If, if you know where you want your exit holes to be, these holes to be, I'm going to put them in the back. That's really the way it depends, what it depends on. So I'm going to put mine in the back. I don't want them in the front. Um, so I want those to be in the back. So this is going to go this way. This is going to go on the unfinished side. So the same problem. It's going to go like that. Oh, sorry. No, it has to go where the holes are. Where, whatever way the holes are, sorry. So it's going to go just like this and it'll line up with the holes. So I have to take those brackets off because they're in the way. Uh, excuse me. Make sure I'm doing this the right way. We'll, we'll put, put the holes right through like that. that. And that'll, that'll get the seal on there. And we want the long part, the flappy part, to be hanging off. So you don't want it to be hanging way up here. So when you're done, it'll look like this from, from this side. You'll see um, the, the three, three screws, screws, the seal here, and from, from the, the back, back um, just, just like, like that, that. Just grab the base panel that you decided to be the front of the box. So in my case, I wanted the holes to be in the front of the box. So 
what we're, we're going to do is we're, we're going to take our base panel here and we're going to flip this over and we're going to push our screws and do it. He didn't put it on the wrong side. And, and that will sandwich that seal right between the two panels. panels. We're, we're sandwiching, sandwiching, sandwiching the plastic here between the panel we just prepared and our base panel at the bottom. And in some cases, these hexagonal holes will have nothing under them. If you decided you wanted this the opposite way where your holes are back here, these hexagons will be empty underneath these, but that's okay. We're going to use those later. All right. So the next step uh, would be step number four would be adding the square nuts to the mega brackets. So if we take all the brackets and position them like this, there's six of them, and we need 12 of these square nuts, okay? Um, the first thing we're going to do is take the square nuts and push them into these top holes. So we'll go through one. You can do this with... Um, a needle nose pliers, you can do that with your finger, you can, I, I like to use a flathead and just push them down a little. So what we're going to do is go through and push the top nut into each one of these. And we're just going to take it, push it into here. Okay, so that's what I've already done, I already showed you how to do that. Um, so you've seen that, we just put the seal on. Uh, he realized he made a mistake and put them on the wrong side on his video. And then he's going to put the other one in the back, which will be filled. So that's the other one. Two of, I got three of them. So you got, that's in case you want to do it on top. Um, so you go the other one on the other side, on the unfinished side. So again, I can take the other brackets off. That's another, again, the differences between the uh, 2.1 and then the uh, 2.0. And I'm doing a 2.0. And mine is not even the same as the 2.0 they show in the videos, by the way. Or maybe it is. I, I guess it is. Now that I see I got the, the piece of wood, or the, this piece on, I can see that it is basically the same as what he was showing. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the screws through the other one as well. As soon as I get this undone. I love it when they, the directions are not clear, you know, and, or you don't have uh, the right directions to go with, uh, you know, what, what is actually being put together. So we're doing the same thing, take one of these, put it back here in the back, uh, line up the three holes, put the three screws through th this holes into it, just like we did on the other side. The advantage on the other side, of course, is that they have that plastic flap that's actually holding the screws in. Right now, my screws are not being held in, and they just fall right out when I go to flip it over, just like I just did, and they fell right off. You know, which is what I knew would happen. I tried to flip it quickly, and of course, it didn't work. Now, what I could do, in fact, that's what I will do, is I am going to take some scotch tape to temporarily hold those screws in place, make it easier for me to flip things over and not deal with everything falling apart on me as I flip it. You know, because I just flipped this and it all came apart too. So I put this piece of scotch tape on the screws. It'll keep the screws from coming out. While I'm doing my other pieces I need to do. I can take them back off when I'm done. And I'm missing a screw now. There it is. I'll hold my screws in place so I don't have to keep fighting with them. And we'll do the other side, do the same thing. Put it through. Maybe. Maybe we can get it in. Maybe we can't. Come on. There. So we got those two. Flip that over. All right. So we got that all together there. 
they start doing all the putting all there. the in. So we're going to throw our three screws in here just like we did on the other uh, panel that had the seal on it. So we will push our screws in. Maybe. So we will take and push our screws in. So now what we have is um, the, the panel on here with the three screws. We have this one that we put on earlier that has that seal here. We're going to flip that over. Next we take the pieces we did in the last step and we're going to use them and install them uh, on this board. So the two that do not have the center bracket are going to go here and here. The corner ones um, that have the middle piece here are all going to go. Okay, so what he's talking, what we're talking about here, we're going to take these guys here, and we're going to put them onto. Uh, of course, they came apart on the side. Wonderful, isn't it? When things don't go, don't stay together for you. This guy is not in the hole. Uh, piece of crap. There, got it. In. What we're going to do is we're going to put the in the center. You have you don't have. So, okay. So on these, you put it in that top one, like we talked about before, and then you put it in the other, the other corner, because that's what's going to actually mount it to the very top of the or the back of the box now. And then you have the one in the middle that goes in. That goes in here. Maybe. I can get in there. Let me get it in. Yeah. I'm going to push it in. That one's really tight. Okay, so that's it. So in the middle, you don't have that center one because there's nothing that it's going to go to. On the ends, it's going to go in two places because it's going to attach to the back and the sides. So you're going to put this together, put it on, and we'll go ahead and we'll get this started on this one. And I, I don't, I'm not going to repeat this over and over again for you, but we'll do this a couple of times just to show you. And then I'll go through and do the rest of them uh, without you guys watching me. Don't need, to spend out, don't need to spend all the time with you guys watching me put this together over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And I think the, the nut came out of that one. It did. That was good. More than that, so now. So you're screwing, 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 nothing's happening. It's not going in. It's not going in because that came up. Let's try again. Maybe. Okay, so like I said, this one has three nuts in it. So one that goes for the back, one that goes for the side. We put the side panel on here. The same thing on the other corner. But in the middle, it doesn't have that one for the back, for the side to go on. So you ignore that one. You just have the two end pieces that go in, maybe. Put that one in. Get it in there. And the other one falls out again. So we're going to come in like that. And what the hell just happened? I put the wrong one. Put that in the wrong one. Now I gotta try and get it out. Put it in the wrong hole. Okay. Then that one goes in here. 
And that was a, that's a hex, no, that's a square. Push that in. Now get this screw started on this hole. Maybe. Like that. Bring it over the edge here so I can now get the screw head. talking about when I say that, right? Uh, that's some flashing here on this piece is going to give me a problem. I'm going to weigh a little bit with my knife. Okay. Maybe I can get this thing in. And maybe I can't. Really wanted to be a pain right now. Wanting to win. Ah. Dragging on the floor. This one doesn't want to go. See the over extrusion on the inside of this, which is stopping the nut from going in. Still don't want to win. Oh my god, come on. Of course now my nuts are even with even with the uh tape hold, trying to hold it, it still is falling off. Let's do this. Let's put maybe. Go ahead and get that one started. These things could quit falling out on me. You know, it's a pain in the butt when things fall out on you. Then I'll hold that in place. And I don't know where the screw just went on this one. Fall floor, where'd it go? I don't see it. Grab another one for now. Don't worry about it. Grab. Of course. one to uh so let's see I don't need that this one here over there and of course it just fell right out damn it anymore. So don't forget, if you put tape on there to hold the screws in place, just remove it after you got the things in place. Otherwise, you'll be fighting with it later. Alright, got that one. 
that one is put uh, that trash. Where's my trash? Wait. All right, so I got three of them in place. We'll put another one in and get the third one in place. We try and figure out why that one doesn't want to take a nut. This doesn't want to screw in either. For some reason. that. Got all six of them in here. Need to get that middle one to go in on this end. This isn't going in for some reason. lined up. There. Now I got that one in place. And I got the other one in place on that end. So I need one more in I need one on this side. They have the same problem. I can see the over extrusion on the part. Got to clean those holes a little bit and try and get that in. And then I'm using my hex wrench here to push on it and get it in there. And then that's in. Now, remember, I decided that my holes, which are these ones right here, are going to be in the back. So this is my front. Oops. Well, okay, never mind. This is my front. I think darn places there, so it's going to be in my front. Okay, never mind. I have my holes in the front. Um, so I got my that there, I got that there. I need one nut here on this end. And it's going to fit tight, I can tell already. It doesn't want to fit properly. This one, this one, this one, don't have any of the others. That one in, maybe. No, yes. Push it in. be doing is maybe mounting the back on next or maybe mounting the sides. I think the I think the back needs to go on first because the side has all the holes that hold it all together. So I think the back is the next piece that needs to go on this. It's gonna go just like this basically. I'm not sure there's there's two holes here. Oh I think those are the two holes for holding the, the bracket. Go in, in your, your corners. corners. 
With step six, they just want us to verify that you can pull this up to about 45 degrees, and that makes sure. Okay, Wait, there's a step that got skipped here, but let's make sure we get it right. So here's these two pieces here. Uh, this one's going to go on the back of this part. Oh, where exactly? Well, obviously, it can only go one way. Find my holes. Okay, so this is going to go just like this part's going to go on just like this, but it's going to be sandwiched into the part we already did right here. So this part has to go on and we need to line up those holes like we did before. We need to make punch holes through this. So that when we fold, this is going to fold up just like that. Got it? That's what we're trying to do. Um, nice of him to talk about that, but he didn't talk about it. are all going to go in your corners. So you want to take a screwdriver from the other side and you want them all facing in. They'll look just like this when we get them all screwed in. So now you got all six of these on. Remember the ones with the nuts are in the corners here. Um, then we need to take the, hex, the last one of these with the hexagon holes in it. And what we need to do with that is we need to put it uh, down underneath the plastic film, that seal we created earlier. How we're going to do that is we're going to push three screws up through it. So, yeah, he does talk about it, but I just skipped over it. Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to punch my holes through. Where's my punch? Right there. Give it before. Now I'm not sure how if you leave any space or not. You gotta have, you gotta have some space. Now I've done this a couple times because I screwed it up a couple times. So I, I just wanted to make sure we're getting this right. So I'm refilming this. So if the holes look like there's been something in them already, there was. So what we do is we take the hexagonal piece, we put the three screws in it here. We push our plastic down over in the screw holes. Then we take the uh, last piece here with. All right, so we're going to punch our holes through this. Get that like that. All right, there we go. We're going to punch our holes through this. This one. And this one. And then we're going to push our screws up through it, just like we did on the other side, just like we did before. Maybe. Like that. Other one, like that, and then our final one, Put it in there, for our final hole, maybe, that's the hole. For some reason I'm not hitting the hole, I don't know why. Punch the hole through it and you don't want to go in the hole. There, got it. Alright, so I got all three of those holes there. Then you lay this so it lines up on top again, just like you did before. On the top, maybe. Oh, come on. There and there. Now we're going to fold that up somehow. That's the round holes 
In my case, the round holes match the round holes here. In your case, if you had this backwards, um, so the holes were on this side, you wouldn't see anything here. So when this is correct, um, you'll be able to flex it downwards about 45 degrees. If it's not correct, you won't be able to do that. You'll have to take these over and swap them like I did. So then what you want to do is take your uh, lock nuts, throw them on the ends of these screws and get them started. Now I've done this a couple times. Okay, so the lock, we're going to take some lock nuts, that's what he's talking about here. So there's a little nylock. I call them nylock, there's a little nylon insert on them. And you're going to put those onto these screws. We'll get them all started. And we talk about pulling down 45 degrees. Uh, if you didn't assemble this correctly, you wouldn't be able to fold this down because uh, there's a gap that gets created. And if you look at the back, you can see there's a gap. And that allows that flap to fold down. It's actually it's going to fold up like that. This is the inside of the box is what we're looking at here. This is the bottom of the box. This is my assumptions. Um, and because I messed up, I scratched up right there a little bit. In your case, you won't have to do that. Now, I know there's a printable tool that helps with these processes. Um, in this case, I'm just using a 730 seconds uh, socket. And Now I, I'll find, go find me a little socket wrench. I can use a socket wrench on these guys. And he says the 730 second socket. Uh, so not a big deal. I, I have that. And I'll uh, tighten these all down and we'll be done with that part of it. And I'm going to grab that tool out of my garage. Uh, you don't need to watch me do this. I'll just 